Hey guys, this is Glenn from Glenn Reptiles, and I wanted to show you uh, some beautiful Eastern Indigos. Uh, this is a pair I have. Got them from Black Pearl Reptiles. Um, you can see the, the red chin on these guys. This is my male. He is a wonderful snake. They're, they're both just remarkably good snakes. Um, it is interesting how vocal they are. Um, they will give you a little huff whenever they get excited. Um, at first you think it's a threat, but as you get to know these animals, you realize it really isn't a threat. It's a, I'm excited about something. It's a dog wagging a tail sort of reaction. Um, and so they'll huff up when you, uh, they'll huff at you when you start giving them food. They'll huff and go after it, and they'll huff when you pick them up. They'll huff when they're ready to be sat down. Um, but yeah, they're great animals. I'll give you an idea of size for this guy. He's getting there. These guys get very large. They're still pretty young, um, but big, beautiful, powerful black snakes. And one more shot. Let's see if we can get some light on the subject. There he is. You want to give him a huff? Speak it up. Speak up. Not interested. Okay, let me show you my female. She's a little bit larger. Uh, when I was originally looking at buying these, um, I was warned by the great Rob Zirkel that the males will outgrow the females. So be careful with that. So my female always gets the extra one. My male never does. So she's a bit bigger than my male at this point. Um, at some point, I'm sure he will eventually outgrow her, but uh, I don't want to be breeding a giant male to a tiny female. Um, especially with these guys that potentially could be harmed in the breeding process. And they're snake eaters. So they pretty much eat anything. Uh, mine are feeding on rodents and chicks. Go ahead and do it again. Hiss, hiss at them. Nope. Um, uh, mine are eating rodents and chicks. Uh, they've had fish a couple of times I've been surprised that they weren't more aggressive with the fish in my case. I know uh, some people have greater success with the fish option than I do, um, but uh, they will eat fish, but it's just not one of their favorite things. So yeah, these guys feel super cold. I keep them much cooler than most of my other snakes. Um, they're near the ground and it's cold and colder in this room this time of year. And so there, I think that's partly why she's so interested in wrapping around my warm arm. But uh, yeah, Eastern Indigos, uh, great snakes for many people, the holy grail of snakes. Um, and I really like them. Oh, one thing I think I should say about these guys, the, the thing that I always hear about these is that they are dirty, filthy, dirty, they spread poop everywhere, they have giant stinky poops, and I guess I would say, yeah, that's true, um, but I think it's much more discouraging to people who haven't worked with bull snakes. If you work with bull snakes, I would say, pound for pound, bull snakes give these guys a run for their money. Um, however, these guys will get more pounds. Um, and so, you know, imagine even a bigger bull snake making a mess. Um, but uh, I have been pleasantly surprised, not that it's a pleasant smell or, or easy, easy to clean, but compared to bull snakes, if you're used to that with a larger animal, it's very comparable in my limited experience. So anyway, um, these guys are great. Uh, strongly recommend Black Pearl for any of the dry Marcon animals you might be interested in. And uh, hope you guys have a great day.